Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Um, thank you for joining me this morning. I hope you can hear me okay. Everybody hear me okay? Yeah. It's very nice to see so many people joining this morning from also from so many different places and to see so many friends um, together. Over the last few weeks, many people have um, asked if we could have some meetings online, if we could just be together in presence online. So I felt it was a very beautiful opportunity to just offer this possibility and um, to just give us all together some time together to rest in being, to be together in being. which is that place inside us, which is much deeper than the personal mind or the personal conditioned self. So these meditations and these meetings are really an invitation for you to really just allow yourself to be as you are and to see when you don't grasp at the conditioned movements, when you don't grasp at the mind, when you don't grasp at, at that which is moving, then something deeper begins to reveal itself, the unconditioned part of ourselves, that part which has no fear or no history. that part which is unconditioned consciousness itself. And with, every, with everything that is happening right now, there is also a tremendous possibility to go within and discover something very profound within you. and something which will help you and your family and everybody around you. If you begin to discover, emanate and live as the ground of conscious being. So I'd like to begin by uh, guiding a meditation together. and just invite you to find yourself in any comfortable position. And you can close your eyes if you wish, also you can leave them open, whatever feels natural for you. And I invite you to just begin to turn the attention and the awareness inwards. And if it helps you, you can use your breath to support you in this. Just follow the breath inwards. and see if you can bring your focus and your awareness inside the body.
and away from the thinking mind. So rather than trying to control the mind, just allow the mind to do whatever it is doing, but bring your focus away from that inside the body. There is something inside you that is deeper than mind. And as you come into the body, whatever is happening inside the body on the level of feeling and emotion and sensation, just simply see if you can just allow that to be as it is. So that you're not fighting with yourself in any way. Bringing this natural sense of acceptance to yourself. If you allow everything to be as it is inside you, without grasping at anything and without identifying with any surface movement. Something else begins to reveal itself within you. A natural sense of stillness. a natural sense of peace. A natural silence. Become aware of this space inside you. Allow yourself to come to rest there. If the mind tries to pull you away from that, again, just come back to the being itself. Rest in natural being.
in this space of being. There is nothing to achieve, nothing to become. It's a very deep letting go. into that space of no mind. And you can check inside yourself at any point and just get a sense, am I lost in thinking? Am I lost in the mind? Or am I resting in heart presence? Am I resting in being? And just for the last part on the meditation, just see if you can fully honor this deeper part of yourself, this natural silence. You don't have to keep it. It is always here. In a couple of minutes, I'm going to bring the meditation to an end. <clears throat> but when I do so, I very much invite you to Stay conscious of that deeper part of yourself so that you don't automatically just go back into the personal self, into the mind. So then whatever you're doing throughout your day, there is some recognition of the deeper self inside you. 
and you can sense this energetically in the spiritual heart, which is the very core of yourself. And that godly presence within you which has no gender, no nationality, no birth sign. It is just natural consciousness. And this lives in the heart of all of us, in the heart of every living being. And our opportunity, our potentiality, our possibility is to discover this now. To discover this and to honor this within us. The only thing that stands in your way is identity with the conditioned mind. And so please come out of the meditation whenever you feel to. I want to remind some of you that if you are seeking truth, If truth is what you are seeking, then it is the most simple thing. It is not something complicated or, or rigid or difficult. In fact, it is the most natural thing. It is that which is here before everything else appears. And if we are interested in awakening, then it is a coming back to our original nature. A coming back to and an honoring of our original innocence. that which we were before the world kind of got hold of us. I remember many years ago, I was reading very much um, books from Eckhart Tolle, especially The Power of Now and A New Earth. And there is a verse in one of those books, I can't remember which one, but he speaks about a time where human beings have to go onto the next level in order to survive. Going on to the next level doesn't mean that we learn more about things. I think we've learned so much about things. Going on to the next level is discovering the deeper intelligence inside us. Discovering that inside us, which is before the mind and actually gives life to the mind. What is often called the higher power. And I, 
don't think we've ever seen a time of change as we're seeing at the moment. Where like the whole world is changing. The whole world is on pause. And within any a difficult situation, there is always the potentiality for tremendous growth, tremendous spiritual growth. I'm sure many of the people in this meeting now have had some of your greatest breakthroughs during times of real difficulties. That has certainly been my story. So I very much want to encourage all of you to use this time for spiritual growth. To use this time to see if you can discern the difference between your being and your mind. To use this time to fully allow your humanness to be as it is. But to see if you can avoid the habit of grasping at it and identifying with it. There is nothing more healing than when you begin to rest in your own natural state. That brings a tremendous healing to our humanness to our trauma, to our pain, to our human difficulties. So I very much hope to be able to offer more of these meditations over the coming weeks so we can just be together in this way. There is something very healing about being with a group of people who have same in a calling where we can let down our, our guard and we can feel this sense of intimacy together. This sensitivity, this vulnerability together and also this tremendous strength together. So thank you very much for joining me this morning. And um, I hope that it has been helpful for you. And uh, love to all of you. And we, we will have some uh, more meditation soon. Also the possibility maybe to share, or have some sharings together soon also. It'd be very nice to hear from some of you. Okay, God bless everybody.